Reaction to the news of this leaked out of the Supreme Court has been swift all across South Florida today. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney, he's live at the federal courthouse this afternoon where a protest is planned there. Matt. Yeah, you're right. We understand there is a planned rally, a pro-choice rally here out in front of the federal courthouse scheduled for later. But this news out of Washington today is being welcomed by those who are against abortion and is devastating to those who are supporting a woman's right to choose. At the Planned Parenthood Center in West Palm Beach, there seemed to be little surprise. But we knew that this could be coming. You know, we've been sending the warning signals just this year. Lori Goodhue is with the Florida Alliance of Planned Parenthood Affiliates. Planned Parenthood, she says, has 20 health centers in the state, 15 of them which offer abortion services. For her, the draft ruling from the Supreme Court, while not final, is something she says could disproportionately hurt women, much in the way it did 50 years ago. People with the means, people with money um, would travel to other states. They travel to New York. They travel out of the country to get an abortion. People will st those people will still have access to legal abortion. It's people that are most in need that are that are traditionally left out of our health care system. Yet on the other side of the abortion debate, there is a sense of relief over the opinions of five Supreme Court justices supporting striking down Roe. Because conservatives are looking at the Constitution, they're realizing that this is a state's rights issue. Karen Turk is a conservative activist, author, and TV host based in West Palm Beach, who believes if the court decision is confirmed, at least half the states, including Florida, will ban abortion. I do think that the states fall in line with what the country is actually demanding, that there will be more restrictive abortion laws. And I think that a lot of people are hopeful for that because it has gone too far. All right, we will not really know what Florida lawmakers plan to do with this. As we've mentioned, the draft decision that was leaked out of the Supreme Court is not final. And we really won't know what the court intends to officially do for at least several weeks. We're live in West Palm Beach. Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.